Well, alrighty, had a saw come back uh, after about, you know, seven tanks or so. It was at aftermarket 372 that I had warmed up. Um, it was running pretty good, but now it doesn't pull over. So, autopsy time. So, we'll see what happened to this full aftermarket um, build uh, that I had here. Um, pretty much used aftermarket cases, everything else uh, on there. And uh, we used the, a, a standard highway meteor or highway piston cylinder. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, doesn't really move over. So it kind of blocked up. We'll see what, uh, what I did. So stay tuned. Bye. Okay. Uh, so real quickly going through this. Um, see how fast I can take this uh, thing off. Uh, muffler's a little loose. Um, I probably should have put the brace under here uh, before letting it out the door. It, uh, so, also, if you can kind of see in there, um, there is, I'm not sure, let's see. Maybe you can see that. Uh, there's, the filter wasn't doing do justice. Sucked fines. So, I can see scoring in the piston already. So, let's go ahead and, and take this off. See what uh what else transpires here Okay, so found the issue with the muffler. Um, as you can kind of see, it uh, cracked up in here, um, cracked on either side, so that was uh, part of that. So it definitely needs a brace on there. Um, probably should have known better. Uh, that's still holding up. Uh, probably could still salvage it by uh, welding, just welding these back. So we'll see. Aftermarket, of course, cheap. Not that thick. Let's see if we can see if it moves. Oh, yeah. She's toast. Okay. So. this uh, vacuum line pop the fuel line and make sure that something to plug it with uh, otherwise you get gas everywhere on you uh, that kind of thing so let's see oh and there it is ah okay gas everywhere love that right so let's, uh, should have burped it. There's the pressure. Burp the pressure out of it. Okay. So uh, let's get that down in there. Uh, gotta love that. Whoo! <coughs> Stinky. Stinky. Okay. Let's go ahead. Um, if I can find my needle nose, pop this choke lever. That out of there. Let's go ahead. Throttle cable. Let's get this off of there. Got that. That's that. Uh, oh, we'll just pull this out then. All right. That works better. Put that back in there. Okay. Let's go ahead. Get 
just take this off here and soak. Yeah, soak the gas anyways. Okay. Ah. Okay. Let's go back to this. Okay, it's one thing nice thing about a steel or a Husqvarna, huh? Is that you can have this tore down. In a matter of minutes, uh, without a bunch of hoopla. So, still recording? Perfect. So, alrighty. So let's get the mallet. Oh, she's stuck down there, isn't she? Nice. Okay. Um, you know what I see? I want to actually pull the vacuum line out this way, possibly. If it works, this one a little longer. There we are. Vacuum line out. Uh, oh, that's weird. There's some goop in the vacuum line. What in the? Hmm. That's weird. I wonder if, uh, seems like there's oil inside the back of my, how strange, uh, but let's see, all that's off, all that's off, let's give it a little tap, all it takes, uh, uh, yep, oh, oh my, uh, okay. Let's see. Make sure I have all my stuff around. One, two, three. I think I'm missing one. Yep. Missing one here. Okay, there it is. All right. So let's see if you can kind of look in here. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh my, oh, terrible exhaust side intake, eh, you know, we're sucking some fines, it's not too bad, that still feels good, still see some, yeah, you know, uh, let's see, man, that exhaust, that exhaust, I wonder if it's because of the exhaust leak, uh, to to get hot, suck air in there, because the muffler. Uh, that's unfortunate. Wonder if I can salvage some of these transfers. So possibly, we'll see. Um, it was yeah, it was the 52 millimeter pop up piston. Here it is, pop up highway piston. See if I can get you a little closer uh, in here. And so we can kind of see around what it was going through. Lovely camera angle, huh? So uh, looks good from intake side. Yeah. Can't tell the wash pattern. Plug wasn't running too bad, maybe. Shade, but man, oops, sorry about that, guys. Man, that uh, there it is, the exhaust side. Jeez, that that took its toll. So, anyways, lightening up the piston the way I did, 
wonder if that worked. We're gonna order this over here. Let's see. Uh, uh, back in frame. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what. Oh yeah, finally. Sir clips in. Sir clips in. That didn't move. Flip it back around. Sir clip. Yep. Sir clip is all good. So that. And then let's uh I'm gonna take you out of the stand out of the stand here. Okay, down inside, down inside there. Let's see, get my light off, and so that moves freely. Actually, it doesn't feel like there's any binding whatsoever. So really, what this one needs, new top end. Okay, I won't. Okay. Alrighty, so that's it. A uh, little bit of stuff down in there. Uh, but other than that, pretty good. Okay, so there's your quick down and dirty. We'll catch you on the next one. And uh, I'll look at this one more time. Right in there. Wow. Okay. Exhaust side. I uh, wonder. Okay. think I got an idea. What went on? Too bad. It was a strong runner. The gentleman knows having tested really liked it so anyways at least it didn't destroy the whole saw just the top end we can go from there enjoy yourself have a good day thank you for coming along